wanna come up too? It's like you guys know. Cindy, you never wanna be on camera. You see the title of today's video, yeah? In a matter of days, I'll be turning 30. So with that, people I don't know have always asked me, when are you having kids? Never in my life did I ever dream of having children? And it's like you say that and it's unconventional and then people act like you're some like child hater or like you're just going so against the grain that you must not be normal or something. So I'm just trying to normalize life choices that aren't always so conventional. You know what I mean? Without getting too deep into it, like I don't really care to like divulge. I have a very fulfilled and beautiful life and I have two dogs and they mean the world to me. Am I trying to say that I love my dogs as much as you love your children? No, I have no idea how much you love your children. I'll never know that. This definitely is the most love I will feel, but let's say like if you were to measure it, it's like 100 pounds of love. And then maybe if you have a child, it's like 200 pounds of love. You know, I'm not trying to say that it's equal, but this is all that I know. Maybe someone who has pets and children, they love them the same. Maybe someone else who has pets and children, they love their children more. Like. I'm not trying to say that I know, and it's obviously a really personal thing, like love in general, like who can measure it. So anyway, I'm turning 30 and I'm in a very good place. I just really wanted to do something silly for my channel and for my pets because they're my babies and I just wanted to do something funny. I'm going to do the most exciting things first because it just makes most sense to me. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is this package from Louis Vuitton and this is for Cindy. So Cindy is a Chihuahua, she's 13 years old and she, me spilling my guts about my pets like to me still feels like PDA. I don't like PDA of any kind. I'm not a snuggler, I'm not affectionate really unless it's my dogs so that's kind of between us and I don't, <laughs> I'm not gonna like, it just feels weird talking about it because she knows how I feel and that's like, <laughs> So weird video. So this I purchased on the website. This isn't always available. So I'll show you this. You slide these boxes open. It comes with a dust bag. This is the Baxter Dog Collar PM. So this is not the smallest one. And this is just so cute. It comes with this little tag right here. Sebastian, this is not for you, this is for your sister. So it comes with this little tag right here. And this is so cute. My dogs are nudists. And it's just because when I take them out for walks, I have a harness on them. I don't put things around their necks because I would not pull their necks. I don't know. So this is just decorative. And here you go. Are you ready for your close-up, little girl? Here is the dog collar. You love it? You look like a dog. I didn't think it'd be that cute. Oh. No way. No way, Jen. So this is her new collar. Oh, you look so cute. I love it so much. Okay, so that's that. Fits her perfectly, like a glove, like a dream. So that's for you, little girl. I have a chihuahua fur all over me. Sebastian Phineas is my little boy. So uh, Malty Poo was actually my dream dog. Here's my little Malty Poo. So. He's so sweet and just affectionate and he's really chill. This is not the first time I've purchased this. I got my first Tiffany dog collar when I first got him. I've looked far and wide. I can't find it. He did nibble on it a little bit anyway. I have pictures of it. It's actually kind of cute. Let's take this out of the box. Comes with a little dust bag as well. Comes with this guy. Dun, dun, dun. All the thingies have like plastic on them. So this, this is the collar. Made in Italy, extra small, genuine leather. So let's take off these plastics. I didn't know it was gonna be like this. Do you like it? Do you like it? Here's his collar. You love it? Little boy blue. Hi. <laughs> So cute. It's perfect color on you. I love it with the white fur. So I got their collars all taken care of. They're all situated. I had to buy a couple things from Hermes as well because why not? And Hermes has an extensive baby collection. So this is, this is how the receipt comes, by the way. This looks way more extravagant than what it is. Um, I have dog fur on my face. I don't know which one's which. Clearly, they're packaged. But... 
this packaging is just everything. Like, you'll be pretty underwhelmed when you find out what's inside. <laughs> love luxury just it's so exquisite packaging service okay so this is the boys first <laughs> wow this is a lot bigger than i thought this unboxing is like seriously altering the coloring of this footage how cute is that so Sebastian, like, I don't know, I just think that washcloths are very unnecessary. Sebastian, like, he tears up a lot and I do a lot to clean his eyes. Otherwise, they stain really red. Like, he actually still has a little bit of staining. I work really hard to keep the stains away. And what I do is I use saline. Uh, I put saline on a towel and I wipe his eyes and then keep them really dry. So this could be for that. Okay, so he has his collar on. And then this Cavacolor washcloth. I'll e either use this for his eyes, or sometimes like if he has a little whoopsie, we'll find something to do with this. These are your presents. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> One more, guys. I'm almost through. So it's another Hermes package. Again, you can probably tell what it is now. Uh, let's see. This ribbon, I will never be able to tie the same. So I have not previously unboxed these. The only thing that I took a peek at was the Louis Vuitton one because it was so easy to open. It was like a slide out. How can you not? Same deal. Is this not like the best present? Ugh. Okay. So this is the Avalon washcloth. Um. So this is a blush pink. I really like it because it's not like in your face, like hot pink. It's like a very cute baby color, you know, like that shade. This is, these are for babies, you know, when babies make whoopsies, you need towels or take baths or it's for their faces or something, but they're my babies. So Cindy sheds like a mother and I'm wearing black, but so this is for you. As she became a teenager, Cindy adapted snoring while she's awake. So I don't know what that's about. <laughs> But I don't know what we'll use this towel for. I do like to wipe her feet though, like for sure. Before when I let them out for walks and all that, I used to like using wipes on their feet. But now I've taken a liking to washing their feet under the sink. And then this can be to wipe her paws. Why is her name Cindy? I had about 4,000 other names for her picked out better name. Cindy's stuck because it's catchy. But the reason that I chose that name at all was because Cinderella, Cinderella, that's what it is. But she always holds her feet like a princess, like that. And they're white, like gloves. You look, she like looks like Cinderella and she acts prim and proper. She's a little princess, so that's why she's Cindy. If I could do it all over again, there's like about 400 other names I would name her. Like, she's 13 years old and I still spend my days going, but I could have named her this. I said, oh, I should have named her this. Yes, do you like your presents? I wonder if you can get this hot stamped. Hi. So that is it. That's my luxury unboxing for my pets. It was a little over the top. I would hope you didn't sit through this video and not liked it. So hopefully you had a lot of fun. I definitely had a lot of fun. I think that they look great on. So I'm a very happy camper. I hope you guys are too. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in our next video.